Over the past two weeks, victims of the Akosombo and Pong Dam spillage have called for government and donor assistance in resettlement efforts. The minority in parliament has proposed a relocation of victims to the stalled Saglemi housing unit despite its structural deficits. Deputy Minister for Information Fatima to Abubakar at a media briefing indicated that tests are being conducted to determine if the affected areas are conducive enough for resettlement. People are there testing the water, people are there, the health, Ghana Health Service have the regional and district directors conducting some tests to see whether the places affected are still habitable in the meantime while the spillage is happening whether they are too contaminated that people have to be moved. It is that information that they will give to the centre that will inform some decisions by the committee. She clarified that the safe havens provided for victims are temporary and that if relocation is necessary, it will be communicated. There are chiefs, there are leaders, there is so much involved in moving people from their social and cultural habitats away from their property, away from their farms and all that. If the need arises for such a conversation in the future, we will still create the platform for us to have that conversation. But as it stands now, we haven't received any such advice from the health experts and other people on ground saying we should relocate. The spillage of both dams, which began on September 15, has caused widespread destruction, submerging homes, businesses, and loss of livelihoods in various communities. Concerns persist about the ongoing spill, with many anticipating its end. Deputy CEO of Operations at the Volta River Authority, Edward Kenzo, stated that there will be no further increase in the spillage. There will be no additional increase of spillage. Uh, we are tracking the data that is coming and we are going to control the gate per the data that we, 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 we receive. Um, for knowledge, at least yesterday, we, we, we had some drops in volumes, so at least we've managed the amount of water that we are spilling out now. We've cut off some volumes out of it. The current situation has led to many communities being the primary victim. Judith Brown, TV3 News.